Next 15 has just got released and it has one of the biggest updates to date. What the hell? Yeah, not a lot of stuff to talk about, but let's still take a look at it. So the first update, which is not technically an update, is that now Next will use Jack 19 as its minimum Jack version. So that means that now we will be able to use Jack compiler in Next.js. Then there are some hydration error improvements. So in the previous versions, if there was a hydration error, then this error was shown to us. And this isn't very intuitive. You don't really know what's the actual issue. So they have updated the error to show where the error would be. So maybe the error is somewhere around here. And now this error pop-up also shows some suggestion as to why this could have happened. And I'm pretty sure by now everyone knows these things. Then some caching updates. So if you are using fetch to make requests or you are using a get route to make a request, then in previous versions by default cache was enabled. But now in next 15, that's not the case. So this is a breaking change. So now if you want to use cache in a get route handler, for example, you will have to export this variable in the get route handler. Similarly, if you are using a fetch request, you will have to pass the force cache option in the cache option for the fetch request to have cache enabled. It's not enabled by default. So this is a breaking change. Now another thing which should have been added in next 14 but is added in next 15 is incremental adoption of partial pre-rendering. So partial pre-rendering means that there would be some static portion in the page and the page would come from the server with that static portion but also it would have some dynamic portion which we can wrap with the suspense component and it would be streamed from the server to the page. So basically a page with both static and dynamic content. Previously in X14, if you wanted to use that, you had to pass PPR true to the experimental flag in nextconfig.js and it basically added this feature in all the pages. And obviously maybe that's not what you want. So now if you want to have this option for some pages and not for all the pages, you can pass incremental here. And basically then if you want this option for a specific page, you can export this constant. So this should have been added in next 14 by default, but they added in next 15. Also, another thing is next after. So if you have a server function, server component, etc., and you want that after the response has finished streaming, you want to do some task, you can use the next after function for that. Yeah, next yes, that is cool. But what if I want to do something in between? Again, not a lot of stuff to talk about. This easily could have been a minor version like 14.6 or something but they released a major version with not a lot of stuff so that is it for the video if you like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you in the next video bye